Good morning, I'm Pete Peterson, and welcome to the RCA Coaches Show. This is, I'm the offensive coordinator here of the Ridge Christian Academy's football team, and with me this morning I have Coach Alan Horn, head football coach. How are you doing this morning, Coach? Doing good, doing good. Good, good. So we kicked off our football season last night at James Island Christian School. Um, actually, very beautiful weather to start the night off with football. And the guys were fired up to get the 2012-2013 20, um, season underway. And uh, we had some very exciting plays um, straight out the gate. What did you see? Uh, first quarter, first quarter, and it, we're, we're, we're a very young team this year, which you know, Coach. Uh, we got a lot of, uh, we got two seniors, uh, one junior, and uh, the rest is pretty much a sophomore and freshman based team. Um, <clears throat> I thought being the first game of the first game of the year, and this was zero week that we scheduled this game. Uh, I wanted to get kids to get some actual experience on in game situations. Uh, we came out, we were a little surprised at what we saw. Made some made some adjustments to the offense. JB Weber, James Allen Christian does an excellent job. Well coached team. His kids were under control the whole way. It took us a while to pick up on the wing tee that they run. Kids adjusted real well. Second half had a much better game. Good, good. Yeah, and um, so let's talk about the, the, the young players that we have. Um, I know that, you know, you said we only have uh, two seniors and one junior on the team. Um, you want to talk about a couple of the new guys that we have additions to the team? Well, we got two seniors on the team. Um, one of them went in the game, banged up a little bit. Um, he had a playing with a brace. Um, the other senior is Chase James. Both of these guys returning from last year. Uh, both of them are skilled personnel. One we use at an end, and the other one's at a tailback. Um, Lee Item probably in the game of, in scope of things last night had an exceptional ball game. He pulled down a, a long reception downfield that we managed to cash in on. And due to the purpose of this brace, he couldn't even get his arm up. So he made a good catch with his body. We ran a couple end traps that he was very successful with, got on the perimeter a couple of times. Um, he was just a real good leader for the game. And uh, Chase James, very solid on defense, had some great tackles, uh, probably the most solid performer we've got on Ridge Christian, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Um, and then the young guys. We had a couple young guys that stepped up. Uh, Antonio Rivers, never played football before. Uh, young man's close to 200 pounds. He's an eighth grader. Very mobile, very agile. Um, he's going to be a great one if he just stays with it and we can get him indoctrinated to the program. Um, he did a good job. Dennis Berry, uh, an, another eighth grader who came in, made some big plays on the other side of the ball, sacks, and uh, tough, hard-nosed kid. Both of these guys don't shy away from contact. They're playing on the other side of the ball, and uh, we're very encouraged about them. Good, good. So it sounds like that um, in the coming years, if we can keep the nucleus of the team together, we're going to have a pretty good group of kids here at Ridge. Yeah, the, these kids have got a bright future. We just have to stay the course. I mean, we can keep all together, and, and that's pretty much the same in any program. Most coaches need three years to turn programs around, and you get your offensive system in there, defensive system, and the kids don't have to relearn things every single year. Um, and our kids, they stay active off season. I mean, every one of these kids on the football team, is, which is very unusual, they play three sports a year. Some of them play five sports a year. I mean, they're on the field all the time. Uh, weightlifting, this summer we were in there on five on five. They were in the summer lifting weights. They have a lot of heart, a lot of desire. It's, it's interesting to see where this is going to wind up. Good. Now, speaking of the kids having to stay in the game so often, um, can you elaborate a little bit on, I guess, the differences between an eight-man um, football team and 11 man unit and you know the the responsibilities on the kid right. physically yeah and, and that's a good point uh, 11 man football and eight man football they're both tough in their own respects 11 man football when i was coaching at wando we had over 100 kids you had teams and you had packages that you'd put in goal lines punt team eight man football is a different dimension you don't get off the field um you got eight kids out there and all they do is turn around and uh your skilled personnel, the guys who have to cover receivers and break away from runs, they just have to be in tremendous shape, tremendous shape. Now, yeah, we may not have the dimension that you see with the big 16, and, but the effort and heart is tremendous. And, and what we're building out there on the field with young men for the future, that's what it's all about. So they will go forward through these painful times. And uh, of course, you know, football, you're, you're always going to be hurt, but you got to know the difference between being hurt and being injured. 
All right, we're going to wrap this segment up. And But when we come back, we're going to talk about the second half. We had a lot of very exciting plays.